Hi, I'm Elena Pakutova, curator at the Rubin Museum of Art in New York. During this difficult time, we hope that some of the ideas represented in our Himalayan art collection might be helpful in dealing with challenges we all have to face today. So on the days that museum normally would be open, from Thursdays to Mondays, we instead bring you short daily videos. And today, we look at what Tibet medicine has to offer us in building our resilience against stress, anxiety, discomfort, and maybe even boredom. Our guest today is Tibetan medical practitioner, Dr. Tony Tidwell. She will give us some practical advice and guidance on how to maintain balance and be healthy. Our inspiration for today is the painting Medicine Buddha Palace. Let's look at this painting. It shows the Medicine Buddha seated in his palace in a city called Lovely to Behold, in a grove of medicine, at the peak of a four-sided mountain. Each of the sides, east, west, south, and north, are the perfect environment for the medicinal plants to grow. There are spring waters, various kinds of precious stones and minerals, and all of this have specific healing properties. There is a famous story of an apprentice to a healer. His master asked him, go and find me a substance that does not have any healing properties. So the apprentice thought, hmm, that's easy. I'll be back in a couple of months. But after many years of scouring the Himalayas, he returned to his master empty-handed and said, everything I tried had healing properties. And then his master said, well, let's now use everything we have around us for healing. Imagine that you're walking around and enjoying this healing environment of the Medicine Buddha's palace and think that everything has healing properties. And now, let's hear from Dr. Tidwell how to apply the qualities and properties of simple things and plants around us. Hi, my name is Tani Tidwell. I'm a Tibet medical physician, and I'm also a researcher at the Center for Healthy Minds, led by neuroscientist Richie Davidson. And I'm really delighted to be here with you all today, especially in these very difficult and crazy times. And I don't know about you, but I feel like a lot of our lives are now uh, moving into a virtual world where our work, our, our social connections, even our basic needs are all moving online. And with the anxiety and a lot of that uncertainty and how we meet those needs, we can feel really disconnected with just our bodies, our basic material sense of ourselves. So what I'd like to explore with you all today is really getting back into our bodies. And, and that's through getting in touch with what Tibetan medicine sees as the gateway to our health, and that's through our gut. And this is also the secret door to our mental well-being. Let's go ahead and get in touch with our gut and how we care for our gut. So uh, Elena gave us a wonderful introduction to this beautiful land of medicine where we walked through the beautiful gardens with her of all these different kinds of medicinal substances. So in Tibetan medicine, we say there is nothing on earth that is not medicinal. Yet we can't know what's medicinal for us if we don't know how to decipher what are those qualities that are particularly beneficial to our bodies. Um, and what happens in our gut when we do that. And so Tibet medicine understands this process through another great technology that all of us have, and that's our tongue. And so in Tibet medicine, taste is a signal to our bodies of the different qualities of food that are coming into it that helps us to signal to our bodies um, what to prepare for, which digestive enzymes to bring online, what kind of activities we're expecting from it. And so it's using our body intelligence to really connect with those qualities and the specific kinds of actions that we want, that we need from our food. 
So let's go ahead and explore that today together. If you're at home, you can bring me along to your kettle and pour a mug of hot water for yourself. Um, I have a mug here and we're gonna go ahead and um, pour it from this thermos. feel that warmth already. You can see some of that steam. Mm. And we're just going to explore the qualities of this utterly simple substance that is the source of all life here on this earth that comprises the great majority of the physical mass of our bodies. And uh, in Tibet medicine, we say that the first illness among humans was digestive illnesses, was the inability to digest substances, uh, indigestion, if you will. And that the first medicine was hot water, was hot boiled water. We say it was the primordial medicine. So let's go ahead and see what that feels like. Mm. Wow. You can feel that even just the warmth, that quality, that feeling of just reassurance in that cup of hot water allows your body to relax, allows your gut to just take it easy and prepare for digestion, that we don't need to heat up all the things in our body that we're gonna be using to metabolize and digest, that just by putting that hot water, it gives it the ability to go ahead and begin that process, that heat of breaking things down. So it signals to the body that reassurance, that calming, that rest and digest feeling. And it even invites you to just go ahead and take that deep breath in, also allowing your body to move into greater relaxation. So this is a great way to start your day. You can go ahead, first thing when you wake up, boil a cup of water, let it cool down slightly to tea temperature and just enjoy that simple, simple fluid of life. And it's a great way to just remind your body that you are safe, you are protected, and you are at ease. And for those of you who have a little difficulty, particularly having a first bowel movement in the morning, uh, one thing we can start exploring is a different taste, and that's the salty taste. So I have a little bit of sea salt here, and just that nice Mediterranean rock salt. So we're just going to take a small pinch, and put it into our water. You can use up to an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and stir that up. And take that taste. Mm. And immediately, one of the things that defines a salty taste in Tibet medicine is that as you put it on your tongue, you can feel the heat. There's actually that sensation of heat and the initiation of the watering in your mouth. You can also feel, just like on the Tibetan plateau, we have uh, salty butter tea and that helps bring in those micronutrients, um, but also helps with the digestion, brings in that heat literally in the gut. And so that's a great way. We see it clears obstructions of the bowels. So some of you might notice that you have a pretty uh, quick bowel movement after you have that nice cup of salty water, as long as you don't have any restrictions to salt. It's also helpful to bookend the day with some warmth, also to help ease the body to calm the mind. So we're gonna do that with a different medicine. And that's one of the beautiful, beautiful medicines that we see on this land of medicine tonka, and that's nutmeg. So hot water in the morning, nutmeg at night. And for those of you who would like to continue the connection, I invite you to leave comments below so that we can really get to know each other and start sharing this 
form of community that we're creating. Thank you so much.